Welcome everybody. Happy Friday. I am so sorry. We are a couple minutes late. We were having technical difficulties going live today. You know, with the power of technology, you're kind of a slave to what your internet is doing. <laughs> so um, I just wanted to say hello, everyone. Um, for those of you who don't know me, I'm Crystal and I'm coming to you every Friday with a new episode of Crystal Coaching Connections. Um, my video podcast is basically a place where we spend time every single week um, discussing health, wealth, and everything in between. The goal of my show is to really bring together um, all wellness practices as an integrative approach to your overall well-being, to fully explore our inner capacities to heal. Um, and like a wheel, it's got multiple spokes. And every single week, I'm addressing a different uh, topic. And I'm also addressing a different practitioner uh, on a weekly basis. Um, so for those of you who don't know me, um, again, Crystal, integrative uh, nutrition, health and wellness coach. I'm also a certified natural therapist. Um, and I specialize with working with people uh, with stress and anxiety to help you really overall overcome burnout naturally, reclaim your confidence and overall stress less. Today, I am with my friend Shira. Uh, Shira Lalani, um, we've known each other for, it's probably more than five years now, right? Like, it's at least more than five years. Yeah, because I spent five years on the team. So it's maybe almost 10. Almost 10 years I've known you, yeah. Oh my goodness. Okay, so I've been <laughs> almost 10 years. We worked together at, uh, at the bank. Uh, we met uh, in, a corporate, uh, in a corporate world. Um, and look where it brought us today. So introduce yourself, Shira. Shira is super amazing. She's my Reiki master. And if you don't know about Reiki, today is the day that we're going to teach you all about it. <laughs> Hi, Crystal. Um, so as Crystal said, I work for financial institution. Uh, that's my full time job. And on the side, I'm a Reiki master and a mindfulness coach. And so, um, you know, I got so Reiki is using um, universal energy to heal, and it can heal your body, it can help with aches and pains, it can help with stress and anxiety, it can help with um, clearing any chakras that are blocked. Um, and it's, it's just of an alternate form of healing um, that is becoming more and more recognized in the industry of, of not like natural healing. So, um, you know, that's a little bit about it. Um, you know, it, but what made you so Shira, you're the banker by day and the Reiki master by night. Um, <laughs> what, what, um, what, what brought you to this, this amazing world of Reiki energy? Because, you know, I kind of want to start there so that, you know, cause again, bankers in us, like the bankers in us, how did we go into healing? <laughs> what happened? And what, what called you to this, this, this path? So life happens. And I think that's, that's how any of us really get into the um, practice of well-being or spiritual healing or whatever, whatever that is, right. It's something that I think triggers us into that into that platform or yeah. that wave. And so for me, it was a lot of um, personal stuff I was going through. Uh, life was crazy. Um, emotions were, you know, all over the place. And I needed a place to kind of figure things out. And somebody had mentioned the word Reiki to me in passing. It was not even a um, conversation. It was just something that, hey, you should consider this. So I went to my friend Google and I did some research and then I came across a, a Reiki um, master, a Reiki teacher in Toronto. And so I booked a few sessions uh, for my own healing. And there was a moment um, when I, you know, had some time to think about it to say, you know, I could really, I could really do something with this. And so in 2017, I got my level one Reiki certification and then um, December that year. So it was May of May of 2017. Um, I was headed to Thailand in December yeah. and for a spiritual, um, uh, trip. And, um, my, my Reiki master teacher said to me before I left for Thailand, she's like, you need to do your level two before you go. She said this to me at the end of October. And I'm like, there's no way, there's no way I can do this in, in that time period. And sure enough, I did. I, I, you know, did the courses that I needed to do. I did the number of, uh, there's a, a requirement that you have to do um, for each level, an X number of um, uh, Reiki sessions you have to have. So I did them all. And by December of that year, I, I got my level two. 
I came back from Thailand and something in me is like, you have to become a Reiki master. Like you just have to do this. And so I did. And, you know, there's a lot of courses, there's some, you know, requirements and, and things like that, but I, I put my mind to it. And um, here I am now, Crystal. And, you know, you and I have known each other all these years, didn't really know about these paths that we're on. Um, and just through the, the magic of Facebook, right? The connections. Um, I saw your post about wanting to talk to a Reiki master. And, uh, and here we are. And, you know, it's been a couple of weeks, but I think you've had two sessions yourself. <laughs> so oh, yes, my um, friends, I have and I can't wait to talk a little bit about that, because that's going to be a very interesting one to explore. Hello? Oh, yeah, can you hear me? Are we still live? Are I can. Not, yeah, okay, good. <laughs> I, I think <laughs> one of us is freezing. So okay. So are you still there? You're good. <laughs> I am. Yeah, it's, okay. it's coming in and out, but we did like, we did, um, we did give you a couple of sessions, right? So do you want to dive into that? Yeah. So, you know, um, for me, um, part of this, you know, part of my, uh, part of my health and wellness journey has been very, um, it's been very integrative. Um, and so for myself, ever since I did leave the bank, uh, in, it was 2017, actually, uh, 2017, um, 2018, um, I spent some time uh, trying to figure out a lot of things for myself. And so part of my practice is really about incorporating new ways of wellness um, into not only supporting myself, but to support the people that I work with. Um, so I took you up on your offer to have a couple of sessions with you before we started this journey, uh, this conversation today. And I must say, um, the, the incredible amount of energy that I felt in both of the sessions, um, I, actually yesterday, it, it kind of clicked into place because the first time, remember, I had a lot of dizziness. Um, are, you, are you there? Yeah. I think you're freezing. Oh, no, this is bad. What are we going to do? Hold on. <laughs> Can you hear me? Nope. No, you can't hear me or I'm frozen completely. You're frozen. <laughs> okay, hold on. <laughs> Please hold. We, we look okay online. Hello, uh oh, are you back? Oh, your sound is off. I can't hear you. You're on mute. Hi, we're back. <laughs> Technology. I love it. I Technology. love it. You gotta love it. The energy of the universe. <laughs> so I fun. think the issue might be your crystal. I think the issue might be at your end. I don't know, my my friend. Uh, but Trisha is saying you're both fine on my end. Nobody's freezing. Ada is saying we're good on this end. <laughs> Hello. Hello. I'm here. I'm here. We're having issues, eh? Hey, Crystal. Oh my goodness. This is horrible. Okay. I can hear you. I just can't see you. Okay. Well, forget seeing me. Don't worry. They could see you. Everything is good. As oh, long I lost you. We can't hear each other. No, I lost you again. Okay. Let's Turn off the video for a second. Turn off your video. Okay, let me turn off my video. All right. So we're going to keep. Is that better? Yeah, my friend is saying just keep talking. Uh, it's all Hello. good. Can you hear me? No? <laughs> yes. Okay. So <laughs> we're going to hear me. I can hear you. No. We're going to keep talking no. and we're going to do our best uh, to keep going. Uh, my friend is telling me to keep going. Is that okay, good? Okay, keep going. Okay, yeah. perfect. <laughs> So basically, um, I had the opportunity to, to go through the practice with you. And one of the things that I noticed in the first uh, session that we had, I was feeling a lot of dizziness. My head was spinning. I was, my heart was beating uh, a lot more. Uh, I, I felt it a lot more, the, the, the full, full energy inside of me. And when we had our session yesterday, I noticed that um, I kind of didn't tell you this, but I was trying to figure out like where the energy was going and what you were going to say next. And it's funny because every time I felt the energy in my head, 
you mentioned my head. And then when I thought about my energy in my stomach, I, you mentioned, like I was able to feel my heartbeat in my stomach more deeply. Um, you mentioned my stomach. And so the connection is really real. Like there is a connection there. It's absolutely phenomenal. So Crystal, the, the thing about Reiki is it's channeling the energy for the patient. It's not coming, like I'm just the messenger. It flows through me, but it's intended for the person receiving the Reiki session, right? Which okay. is different than some of the other forms of healing. Some of the other forms of healing are from the person um, conducting versus the recipient. And for Reiki, it's the opposite. It, it's, it's, um, it's for through, it's, it's channeling for you through me, but I'm not invoking anything of it, right? It's okay. not, it's, it's not me doing any of the work. So um, when you, you know, when you, when you talk about that, that's, that's what was coming through at that time in that moment, right? It's okay. not, um, it's not me, you know, in my head space. It's, it's literally what the person needs to hear. Um, and it's, and it's great body. that you, it's my body telling you so that you could tell me what my body is saying. Exactly. So I feel like when, when I, when I have clients, um, I feel some of their pain in my physical body. Okay. Interesting. And so it's, yeah. So it's, it's then to say, okay, you know, they're, they're having stomach issues. And yesterday that was one of the things that came up, right? Yeah, I was having um, stomach issues. I don't know how you felt it, but like my stomach was going crazy throughout the whole session and you just kept going back. Your stomach is gurgling. There's problems with your digestion. And I, I couldn't understand how it was even possible that you would understand this about my body and what was happening. So the energy comes through me i'm the messenger but it's for the the recipients and and that's the key it's what does the recipient need to get out of this session right um i've had clients that become so before covid clients would come to my home right and i'd have a i'd have a room that they would come in and we do the session i physically put my hands on their body and um they fall asleep and they're like well it didn't work and i'm like your body needed to sleep in that moment Okay. For this session, you needed the rest and the relaxation because the work is going to be deeper. Um, it, you, you'll get the messages. You'll still get the, 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 you know, the information, okay. um, how you, how you absorb it will be different. Um, you'll sleep on it. And then in a couple of days, you'll have these aha moments or whatever, whatever it is that, that that's coming through. Um, in other cases, now that we were in COVID, I can't have people come to my home. No. So. Um, you know, there was a person that came to my home last year who wanted to come home this year. And I said, no, and she's like hesitant doing it over the phone. And I said, trust me, it's exactly the same. And she was skeptical. Um, during the session five times, she's like, I can't believe it's like, I feel like you're here with me. Yeah. I, I and that too. I really felt that you were there with me. I felt like my body was responding. My, I, my body just felt like it was responding at all moments. Yep. And, and that's, and to me, Crystal, that's, that's that's the 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 client or the patient coming in who's open to receiving Reiki. It's it's that person who is um, willing to go down that road, willing to um, be vulnerable and open. So this um, is a very good point that you say there, Shira. And this is the this is the case in any kind of practice. I would say even if you're going to your doctor, you need to be re ready for healing. It's the same whether you're coming to a coach, you know, to start talking about your stress. If you're not ready, there will always be that resistance, and it will not be the right time. And so for Reiki, it's very similar, right? Like if you come and you're not open to Reiki you're not going to be able to basically open your mouth through your body and tell your Reiki master what it needs. Yeah. And, 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 or, or, or the Reiki master won't be able to uh, feel the energy because it's so tight and so closed off that the energy just won't be able to flow. And so we literally work from the top down, right? So you start with the crown chakra, the third eye, the throat, the heart, the solar plexus, um, you know, we spend some time on the belly and then you move to the sacral chakra. The root chakra has two positions, which is the knees and, and the feet, right? And so if, if you're coming in with a closed mind, it's going to shut and that energy just, it, it just won't, it just won't flow. So I think um, this is a very complimentary experience for, for example, 
me working with clients and we work on their stress and their anxiety and so on and so forth. And I give them tools and things to do. Um, oftentimes I don't have the ability to know what their body needs, right? So a complimentary practice would be, you know, if they're already open to coaching would be to, you know, add Reiki into there to see physically what their body needs or what their mind needs. I feel like it's very complimentary in a sense. It can, it can very well be crystal as long as the people are open to it. You can't force somebody no. um, to, to get Reiki. You no. just can't. No. Right. And you know, so I think, yeah, I think in my experience, people who are ready for coaching are usually ready to explore things on a deeper level, to be totally honest yeah. with you. That's my experience uh, with most of my clients that I've been seeing over the years. Um, people who are open to their health and wellness and they're willing to be able to sit down with somebody and be, be vulnerable about their position and what they're feeling and what's happening, uh, chances are they're ready to start making some serious changes and they're willing to, you know, go that extra mile. Um, you know, it's funny. Um, where does Re Reiki originate from? Because I want to demystify a little bit of, of what Reiki is, because we talk a lot about energy. We talk about how it's, it's the energy is in me and you're like the vocal path to my body's needs, I guess. Like, if you so, well, the, the only difference is, is we channel universal energy. I channel the energy. It's, it's not my energy working with your energy. It's, it's universal energy that is used for healing. Like that is, that is the, the the terminology um the, there's different forms of reiki there's different uh paths of reiki we are our, our, our like lineage that we practice is the usui reiki which is um from japan um it goes back centuries like centuries um people can google it and research it um you know just you know one of the things crystal like anything else with a coach or even a doctor right if you don't have that connection oh. Like there's, there's, there's the energy that's working, but if you don't have that connection to your family doctor, you don't have that connection with your naturopath or your coach or whatever, whatever it is you're looking after for your, your body and your mind, if you don't have that connection, it, it, it won't work. Nope. And so, you know, we, you know, we have in, in our in our in our family of, of Reiki masters and students, um, you know, we have we have a ton of, of people available. Um, my advice would always be give people a chance, give them a cut, like put yourself out there for a couple of sessions. If you're open to it, try it, yeah. try different people, try yeah. different Reiki masters, um, because sometimes it's it's you might need one or two because one might do a more emotional stuff and the other one might do more um, spiritual stuff or whatever. Right. And so you want to, you want to give yourself a chance, but without that connection, like it, it's difficult. It, it really is. And you know, it's really funny that you, it's not funny that you bring that up because everybody brings that up. And I've been asked this so many times, why would I work with you, Crystal? Why would I work with you over the hundreds of other coaches that there are out there? And you pointed it out right there. You need to have a connection with the person that you're building a trustworthy relationship with. And it's not with everybody that you can do that. And so I think you, and, but yeah, go ahead. No, no. And I was going to say, you know, it's also, it's also, um, you know, the, the Reiki master themselves, right? Like, so I could have a client crystal that comes 20 times and gets the same sort of messages, the same sort of direction, the same sort of um, um, information yeah. that's channeled for them, but they do nothing about it. Right. And they still come back for Reiki, but they're, they're not open enough. Yeah. They're not doing the work to the work. fill. They're not doing the work. Right. And so that, that, you know, they have, there has to be that, that piece of it too. Right. That willingness, that willingness to do the work, whether it's a coach, whether it's a Reiki session, whether it's ex your doctor tells you, you have to exercise. It's, it's that same sort of mindset. Right. Then you have to be willing to do that. Um, I've had like, so sorry, I was going back to COVID and how people have come home and now it's all virtual. A lot of my clients the past year, I've never even met, like I've never met them and I'm able to, you know, do the Reiki session for them. And they're able to get the, the messages or the insights or the information. And some of them are like, how do you know that about me? Similar to what you said is how yeah. do you know that about me? And it's not me. It, that's that's the key is I'm just the messenger. I'm just the conduit for that energy. 
it's really coming from the highest of good. It's, it's very true. It's, uh, it, it's a very beautiful, uh, it's a beautiful experience. I myself felt very, I felt very comfortable in my, in the practice. I felt, um, I felt your, I felt the energy being released maybe, I guess, from my body released into you as a, as a conduit. And, you know, yes, we knew each other 10 years ago, but did we really know each other? The answer was no. no. Uh, do we know each other right now? Not really, like, you know, Not really. Me. but the things that we talked about yesterday are things that I never discussed with you and I've never. never gone that deep into them. So, you know, I'll throw it out there. You know, uh, I use the word recovering perfectionist. Um, and <laughs> you know, my body doesn't like me calling it that, um, my, my body was telling Shira yesterday that like, I have to really just accept that it's part of who I am. And, you know, you didn't know anything about my, the level of how I feel the need to be perfect uh, in most of my experiences. And so I was kind of very taken aback because although I'm open to Reiki and I'm open to coaching and I am open to learning about myself, I was very shocked. And so this is coming from a person who is extremely open. So I would say that it must be shocking for some of your clients to like, come out of a session like this, maybe if they've never done any kind of coaching in their lives <laughs> to be like, oh, wow, what's going on here? So I'm going to correct you on something that you said that the, okay. the release was through me, like from, from you to me, it's not to me. I okay. don't absorb any of that energy. But it's through you. It like kind of goes into you and out back to you. Like it gets you. released out. It gets released out to the universe. It comes from the universe and it gets released out to the universe. I'm just the, Vocal the person channeling it. The yeah, cord. I don't. I don't absorb it. <laughs> okay. Okay. Good. Thank goodness. Okay. Cause let me yeah. tell you, that could be yeah. a lot of energy that you put in. <laughs> you put in. You can still hear me. We're good. Did I lose you? Did I lose you? Yes. Frozen again. Okay. We're good now. Okay. Well, keep going, keep going. I'll, okay. I'll, I'll come back on in a second. Yeah. So I've had, um, funny enough, Crystal, I've, I've had c c uh, clients that come in and, um, again, I don't know them. I know nothing about them. All my clients last year were all over the phone or, um, you know, recordings or whatever. And, um, some of them will be like, how do you know that about me? And it's just, it's just what's coming through. I don't pre-plan the sessions. I don't, um, you know, it's, it's not from here. It's, it's from the energy. And that's so important to, to, to reiterate over and over and over again. Um, you know, it's from the highest of good. This energy is the purest from the highest of good. Um, and, and that's, that's where it's, it's stemming from. And that's the, 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 the quality of, of the work that's coming through. Right. And yeah. so that's important. Um, you know, I've had clients um, where, you know, they'll, they'll be like, Shira, I need a session immediately. Like it's an emergency. And, you know, they, they have a question about their life or, you know, where, what they want to do. And um, a lot of times it's bigger than, than that question. It's deeper than that question. It's, it, that question is just the surface yeah. when they, when they allow themselves to, to heal and absorb and, and understand it's at a much deeper level. That's so funny because it is so is true for my practice. I have people yeah. coming to me, they're like, oh, I'm stressed because of work. And, you know, by the end of a three month program, it had nothing to do with work. It had to do with their childhood. Yeah. And, you know, so like that deep down, like, like you said yesterday, you're like, you're the three-year-old girl. You're the three-year-old yeah. girl that is searching to continue to be perfect because that's what she knows. That's what she responds to. Um, so I'm going to take up yeah. some coloring outside the lines and blowing some <laughs> by myself and not being judged by it. So if you guys see me wandering around the streets, blowing bubbles, well, it's because Shira said that my inner child needs to work. <laughs> my Shira told me that my body was telling me I needed to be that inner child. <laughs> the universe told you that Shira was you, just the kind of it. <laughs> it's so hard. I'm going to keep saying that. I'm going to keep saying that. Good. Um, it's, 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 it's what you needed to hear in that moment. Right. Crystal it's, it's, you know, it's, it's no different than some of the other clients where, you know um, you know, maybe food related, like they'd be eating the same thing for years and years and years. And, you know, it, it, it's, it's as simple as the energy coming through saying, 
they're having stomach issues or they're having, you know, issues. And, and it's not a medical condition. It's just that their body needs a break from it. So it's giving them that guidance and then them choosing to follow through with it or not them choosing um, to take that um, information and, and taking action on it. Um, you know, clients have, have had Reiki and, and a lot of it is, um, some of it is, is dealing with the past and the past is not easy to heal from, but it's creating that emotional, safe place where they can work through it. Um, you know, as a Reiki master, um, it, it's confidential. It's, 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 um, a safe, a healing space for them if they're open to it. In, in some cases where I've given Reiki to a, a few clients, they'll be like, are you like the message is they need to heal this part. So you work through it and like, you know, and they'll say, I'm not ready yet. I, I can't, I can't, I can't do this. I'm not able to do this. And so it's like respecting that and saying, yep, fine. You know, let's just work through a, a, a thin layer of it, whatever we've done today. Um, and whether they come back or not for another session, it's really up to them. Yeah. It's, it's, it's in some cases it's difficult. And in other cases it's, it can be, um, quote unquote addicting yeah. because they get, they get such a, a sense of energy or a sense of calm or a sense of, um, uh, like the sleep. Some people call their quality of sleep improves after a few sessions. Yeah. And so they want more of it. And so it's, it's, you know, again, I would never recommend Reiki to a client every single day of their life. No, no, definitely. Right. Because it loses its, its momentum or it loses its, um, its, its, its vibration. Um, but in some cases, yeah, they, there are clients that need it two or three times a week because of whatever they're going through in their life, like cancer patients, chemotherapy, um, you know, using it for healing or, or helping them with, with those, um, you know, moments in their life is, is powerful and, and can help them. Um, but it depends on the individual. That's really cool. This is depends really on the individual. This is really uh, powerful um, because I do believe in energy. I believe in our universal energy. I believe in the universe. I believe in, I believe in all of that. And, you know, uh, I guess maybe that also that's why I'm so very open to Reiki, I guess, um, because I believe in it. Yeah. Um, what do you think uh, would be one of the first steps for somebody to finding a Reiki master? So, you know, there's, I mean, Google has, Tons of you know, them. it's, 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 it's a floodgate, right? It's, it's a floodgate. Uh, you put in Reiki, you put in your area and you'll see, um, uh, you know, quite a few practice there. Um, you know, again, it's, it's, it's knowing about it, understanding it. There's some people who claim to be able to teach it in a, <clears throat> you know, in a, become a Reiki master in three days. <clears throat> I question that personally. Yeah, same here. Um, but yeah, I question that. I question that integrity and that quality. Um, but, you know, again, I follow the Yusui lineage. Um, there's, you know, to become a Reiki master, there's um, things that you have to do. There's, there's, um, you know, healing that you have to learn um, using crystals and, and, you know, um, it took, it, it takes a while. You can't do it like that. Right. So, so it's finding out who the master, who. Yeah, no, yeah. Go ahead and finding out who, who is going to be the best person. You no, know, So it's like finding out who, 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 what are their qualifications? What lineage do they practice? How long did it take them to become a Reiki master? Got it's it. asking those questions, right. To understand uh, the path, right. Um, uh, you know, I'm not a Reiki master teacher, so I'm not taking students to teach. Uh, but if anybody's interested in learning, I can definitely, you know, give you, give you my teacher's contact information, um, to, to, to do that if they're interested. Um, you know, it's also why, why, why do you want the Reiki session or why do you want to become a Reiki student? Yes. It's, it's, you know, is it, uh, you know, what, what's the objective? Yeah, exactly. And for me, it was, it was, yeah, for me, it was like, I went through, a, I was going through a lot in my life and um, I had a few sessions and I felt the, the, the shift in myself and something in me is like, 
you need to, you need to learn this. Yeah. Because so that was your intuition, your universal yeah. intuition talking to you and telling you that you needed to go that way. Similar to me when I spent years trying to figure out what to do, but the second, the second it popped into my head, everything felt right. The universe just followed suit. Yeah. You know, um, I have a question actually. Um, so a friend of mine who her name is Ada, um, she's asking, what's your fees and do you have package deals? Like, how do you work with, <laughs> so already you're getting interest. Um, <laughs> so, so, um, I don't work like, so I, funny enough, I've never done any advertising. This is the first time I'm putting myself out there. Um, yay for that. I, uh, op- I, I had put it out there in, in my community page um, in, in the town I live in and I'll come in and, and uh, you know, I do, I do charge for the service. Um, I don't offer any packages right now. It's, it's per session fee. So Ada, if you'd like to um, email me after this, uh, definitely can, I'll just put it up there. My, my price is $50 a session right now. Okay. Very cool. So what I'll do is $50 uh, a session right now. So awesome. Very affordable, very affordable. So put my email out there. So put my email out there, Crystal, and people can email me to book a session if they're interested. A hundred percent. We'll make sure to put that in the comments after we get offline. You can also go and pop in the chat and start talking. Ada is giving me heart, 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 heart. <laughs> I think you might have yourself a new uh, a new student underneath you to learning about her her own personal her own personal journey in Reiki. But honestly, um, I want to say a huge thank you to you, Shira, because you opened me up. Like I've I've known a few people that said that they were my Reiki masters. And again, connection is very important to the person that you're working with. Um, uh, Absolutely. I chose you not only you know to come on my podcast, you know to teach about it, but I also chose you as my, my Reiki, uh, master to help guide me through my own personal journey. And again, I will reiterate what, what, what you said earlier, try people out. You know, when you feel a connection with somebody, it's super important that you follow that intuition. Your body knows your energy knows what it needs and it will find the right energy for you. Like it'll find the right connection in the universe. Um, same thing if you're going for your, you know, you're, you're looking for a coach, whether it's me or if it's my friend, Ada, who's also a coach, uh, she's a coach. Um, but you know, it, it really depends. <laughs> whoever, whoever you connect with the best. And so don't be afraid to try out people and see if it's something that you connect with, because you don't always like everybody that you meet. And that energy is not always the right, you know, the right fit. And some people will just gravitate to, to a person and, and that that's fantastic. And other people, like, it's like finding a massage therapist. You may go to 10 different people and be like, I'm going to go back to number four. Yeah. Um, you know, same thing with, with finding a Reiki, um, uh, a Reiki practitioner that fits for you. Right. And, and that's, that's what it comes down to. Um, you know, right now, everybody should be doing them v- virtually. Um, I think that that's, you know, that's the other thing, right. Is, um, you know, sometimes it's easier over the phone. Um, it, it because they're not, they're they're not there so you're not holding back right like you um I know for me personally giving Reiki to family members I was always in the beginning holding back because I would question how much of it is actually do I know about them until I started giving Reiki to family members and things would come up that I like for you yesterday I wouldn't know about and it's like I, I had no idea and you know you work through it with them and you know, again, I'll reiterate, it's private, it's confidential, it's, um, you know, I don't talk about Reiki sessions, uh, about, about like names or, or experiences, like, I've been very vague in, in today's talk right. as well, yeah. because there's that respect for it. And there's that, um, you know, that uh, trust factor yeah, that right. comes with it. So if you if you find yourself with a practitioner who tells you about so-and-so like let's say your friend recommends you crystal and then shares your information or vice versa then you know you question whether that's the right reiki practitioner that you need to be with right like there's 
there's a lot of yeah, um, integrity I mean, like in my practice right like i'm not going to talk directly about my clients i will not talk about their names uh, unless we're doing a video conversation where they're giving me a testimonial or they choose to write down hey crystal is xyz i'm working with her for xyz reasons right same thing like I am totally giving you free for all to talk about me and my experience, right? Like, so again, you know, confidentiality is definitely key, but this was a phenomenal conversation, Shira. I really, one, I love the energy that I, that you hold um, for yourself. Um, Thank you. I am very honored to have met you those 10 years ago because <laughs> I knew the time that we met that we had a special relationship. There was something special between the two of us when we met, but who would there have, was. who would have thought that it would have brought us fast forward 10 years later? I never, Crystal, I never would have thought, not honestly, I have to thank you for uh, like, for pushing me to come out here and, and talk about this. Um, had, had you not posted, had I like, I hesitated and I thought, no, it's Crystal, it's somebody I know I can do this. Um, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be here today. So a huge thank you to you for, for um, giving me the confidence and the ability to come in and talk about something that I do. Um, and, and, you know, it is something I'm passionate about. I, I, there's, there's a lot of benefits to Reiki um, as long as the person is open to it. And I think that that's, that's key. And thank you again for booking, you know, allowing me to, to, you know, um, you know, offer that service to you over, over for the last two sessions. I think that that's, you know, I hope it's helped and I, and, and, uh, well, one, this is not the end one it has um, because I'm personally not seeing a coach right now for my health. I'm obviously, you know, I'm seeing other coaches, but for me, this was actually like a version of my own self coaching. I was able to really take the knowledge that I know and that I teach and, and reuse it for myself and to really refocus on myself. So I appreciate it. And I, I'm so glad that we reconnected. I'm so glad that you were able to share your story. Um, the practice of Reiki with us today. I'm sure that, you know, we've had a couple of people on here asking questions it was pretty active on the on the questions i, I i've been responding back and forth um <laughs> sure you're gonna have people reaching out to you um and uh don't forget after we get off fantastic the video, please go into the comments post your information there you can post your pricing whatever you want um i want this to be a platform where people feel comfortable being able to use this podcast as a place that um is going to allow them to find the practitioner of their dreams Absolutely. And you know, there, there's, there's a lot of people out there, again, I'll say it who practice who, who are Reiki practitioners who offer the service, just, you know, choose one that fits. Yep. Just choose one that fits. Well, with that, thank you very much, Shira, again. Thank um, you. Everyone for joining us today. Thank you for your questions. Uh, thank you for keeping this, uh, this, this live very interesting. And um, thanks for laughing through the technical difficulties that we were having. <laughs> and I wish you all- Technology, we can't control it. Nope, we can't. Uh, we're basically, can't we've got to just do what we got to deal with. So happy Friday again. I hope you have a wonderful weekend, everybody. And I look forward to seeing you guys all next week. Ciao. Thank you. Bye.